Well, she's our favorite plant guru who helps to answer your plant questions on the weekend, uh -huh. usually. But today, Marlene the Plant Lady's got a little something cool. That's for right. Us. We poached her, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Marlene the Plant Lady's in Sacramento, Hi, ready to show us a beautiful tropical atrium. Hello, Marlene. Hello. Yes. Is is it the weekday? Uh -oh, am I doing something wrong? Don't it's start okay. weird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm with John, and I'm in his beautiful tropical oasis. Someone told me about this, and I had to come see it, and then I have to show it to you guys. So, John, how long, and what was the vision behind this? And explain what 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 we're growing and what we're standing in front of. Well, first of all, we're standing in front of Heliconia Restrata, and the room evolved by That's my old house. I I had a beautiful backyard um, and I wanted to enclose it and make a tropical oa oasis but it would have been too expensive and uh, the glass would have been impossible to keep clean so uh, f with other reasons I moved out of that house and designed and built this house this is amazing so it's south facing really tall ceilings you have the ventilation you have the lights everything in here is what people want to grow if they want to create a tropical oasis. Now let's look at this heliconia. Explain to me how tall this is, where you got it, and why it's so special. Um, I got this in Oceanside from a plant importer. and it, There are plant importers. It is currently uh, at its tallest point, 21 feet tall, because that's how tall Ooh. the um, ceiling is. And so it's heliconia restrata, uh -huh. and you're eating nectar off mm -hmm. it. It's really sweet. It's real sugary. It gets all over the floor. Um, it's not supposed to be this tall. It's the dwarf variety, and it's only supposed to be like 12, 15 feet tall max, but it gets no weather, so it just grows, grows, grows. So one of his secrets is, and I will say, he's along the river, great water, great soil. It doesn't freeze. Can you grow this outside here in Sacramento? No. Are there some plants that you might be able to grow outside in Sacramento here that he has? Yes. And we'll show those next time, right? And are you going to eat some of the nectar? Sure, sure. Yeah, you'll see oh. droplets here. You can just go like that. Wow. <laughs> It's pollinated by hummingbirds, so hummingbirds oh, want nectar. Fun. Isn't this gorgeous? We don't have this yeah. at the conservatory. That is stunning. Mm -hmm. Totally beautiful. I feel like it yeah. came from another planet. So, I know. <laughs> well, Ooh, no. Earth. <laughs> so cool. All right. So I think we're, we're going to check back in with you in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're okay. going to show you more plants. Fun. Excellent.